We're very monotone today. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex's Eating Sub Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. More juicy content. It's it's so juicy. What the bell? Thank you. Appreciate that. Sure. Anyways, uh, today, uh, you little stupids, uh, we are doing a movie review. Yes, you had to watch a movie. You should go watch it and then come back. There you go. Ha! Fastest we've ever gotten through that. I beat him to his own joke. It's true. Uh, today we are uh, watching the Hindi film Son Shiraya. Son Shiraya. Son Shiraya. Sonshiria. Sonshiria, Sonshiria, Son I'm not sure. Sonshiria, I'm guessing bomb like bomb. Check, check, check your bomb <laughs> bomb, check your bomb bomb. Uh, uh, name that song. Shake your bomb bomb. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is my, in case, if y'all didn't know, Ricky Martin is my man crush. That's a dumb man crush. Oh no. He hasn't been relevant in what, 20 years? Relevance is immaterial sexiness. Have you seen him recently though? Yeah, have you? No. Man's aging well. <laughs> the man is aging well. Anyways, that's not what this is about. Uh, this is about this film. Uh, this is a 2019 film yep. a, a, with a Sushant Singh uh, Rajput, um, Man uh, Manaj Banaji, Bajpai. Bajpai. Yeah. And uh, hold on. Um, was she the girl? Yeah, she was. Say her name. Bumi Pednakar. And then. No. I don't know who the other guy was. Oh, who played um, Vikal Singh? Yeah. Vik Vakil Singh? Ranveer Shori. Ranveer Shori. Yeah, Ranveer Shori. Okay. Um, anyways. Uh, Which so yeah. means The Golden Bird, apparently. That's the Read title. The for me? Set in the Shambhal Valley, the film follows the story of a legion of dreaded warring Drakoits, who, which is bandits, we learned that recently, who uh, once terrorized the Indian heartland. Yes. Directed by? And the Ravines. Uh, directed by Abhishek Chavi. Who also did uh, Ota Punjab. Yes, and was also one of the writers of the story, uh, was co-creator of the story. And composed by Vishal Bhardwaj. Vishal Bhardwaj. Our unashamed man crush of just art. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, 100% uh, spoiler review. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, come back, and then you can, you know. I'm sh I think a lot of you saw this. I don't know I'm how big this was. Yeah, I don't know how, I have no idea. I don't know. Um, but anyway. Anyways. Initial thoughts. I really wanted to like this movie. Mm-hmm. Ended up freaking loving it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, was, I was wondering, I was like, uh, yeah. what I mean, I did told, he like about I this? Told, <laughs> I told Indrani, I said, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna piss Corbin off because I'm gonna start it with, and he's gonna think, there's no way he's about to say what I think he's gonna say. Well, I was like, okay, where the hell exactly. is he going with here's my Here's my paragraph. I was like, what didn't you like about here's this Here's my film? paragraph. If you wanna know how to make a movie, watch this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Movie's over. It really does grip you right away. It's, it's first starts, frame. Yeah, it starts fast. First frame. I'm um, in. And this is what, and obviously they were completely different films. I actually feel like Pan Singh Tamar helped me understand this film mm. more. Mm. Uh, even yeah, though I would I, agree. Even though obviously I think this film's better, but it's also yes. not totally fair. No, it, it, it helps. It, it helped inform it, that's for yeah. sure. Um, but it's also not totally fair. That one was made um, right. a decade ago. Exactly. This, it's, it's hard to compare. But anyways. Um, this film, I felt like just all the way through was just a, uh, one, a gorgeous film, but also just a really entertaining, well-acted, well-written. Every minute. Just every, like. Every frame. It's, it's captivating what yep. they're doing. On, and they're not doing anything complicated. No. What they were doing in the beginning, they kind of just finished, finished doing, they died. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, like, they were just trying to get away, like they were 
rebels, mm -hmm. and they were trying to get away from the police, and that's basically what they were doing the entire time. The whole time. And it's not. It wasn't. It's not a complicated story. Not at all. As as simple a story as. I don't know if you guys have seen an old western with Robert Redford and Paul Newman called Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Mm. Really simple western. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, they're thieves, and they're running away from the law. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the premise. Uh, I, I, the first thing I want to say, and I, I, I want to say these names, and I'll tell you who I'm referring to, okay? Kuran Alfonso, Zahir Badakwala, Bolganin Barosh, Sajin Chabri, Borhan Karwala again, uh, Drov Pareth, doesn't surprise me there's this many people, Anil Radhakrishnan, Kumal Sharma, Senmit Shetty, Karnil Singh, Srijesh, and Omkar Tamhan. Mm -hmm. That's the sound team. Oh, wow. This is without question the best sound editing and sound mixing of any film that I've seen out of India. This is the kind of sound that if this had come out as a film here in Hollywood, I would have said, if this doesn't get an Oscar nomination for sound mixing and sound editing, I'm gonna be really angry. Yeah. The sound mixing and editing were unfreaking believable. Mm -hmm. Just as good as it gets, so I just and can't. We're, we're gonna praise this from a lot. I'm just gonna, we're gonna praise the, a lot of the, stuff. The one negative sometimes the stunt work wasn't as good. As, really? I thought the stunt work no, was most really of the time good. it was, but sometimes you could see that they were faking it. Like some of the I people that were like acting fun. were a little slow in doing some of these stunts. Sometimes. Oh, okay. This is not like, I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm going to praise most of the film. No, I'm pretty critical of that sometimes. Yeah. I actually, I didn't see that. There was a that. few times where I just saw somebody punching and then you clearly, they, they didn't. Okay, yeah. They didn't get I, it. I didn't pick up on it. Those are the, that's like the only thing that I can yeah, <laughs> I find in this. We can be, seriously, we could be here for two hours. <laughs> yeah. We could talk, just the acting alone. We could go yeah. through everybody let's in the cast. The, let's start with the acting. Let's start with the acting. Uh, let's start with the, the, so the late. Great Sushant, and I'm, I'm feeling that more. The more and more we're getting to yeah, him, and the, and the more obviously you guys were very frustrated and really sad when he died. Right. We sadly did not know him yet. Right. I haven't seen the thing yet. And so we were like, "That's very sad." Obviously, you never want to see somebody uh, that happened to anybody. Correct. But obviously, we had no personal connection like we did with Irfan. I'm now understanding. It's similar to like um, when Heath died. Obviously, Heath was really young. He was 28. Mm -hmm. He this and he um, Sushant was a little older. But you see the talent. Exactly. You see the talent and yep. how many great stuff that they're going to do in the future. Correct. It's, it's one because somebody's asked me before. It's like who would you bring back? Robin Williams, Heath Ledger. I would bring back Heath. Heath. Robin, even though I would bring him back in a heartbeat if I could. Sure. But you got to see so much greatness from him. You just got the start of what Heath was going to do exactly. in the industry. And exactly. that's how I feel about Sushant and how, how devastating it is to lose a talent like this. He has the charisma of Ranveer. And I think I said in the last one, like every single time Ranveer's on screen, I'm like, oh, he's, mm -hmm. he's such screen presence. Mm -hmm. And obviously he's a talented I, I feel the exact same way about Sushant and his talent level and his screen presence. Yep. Um, and it's, it's so, so sad. This completely different character than yes. what we saw in the detective, um, what, what was it called? Detective, I always forget the um, name. Uh, uh, bo boom. Boom. Bo I'm sorry. Bo Thank you. Yomkesh Bokshi. Yeah. Completely different character and a completely different vibe I got from him. Yeah. And this. And yep. that was fantastic to see because you know how I love when actors kind of just do different types of characters. And I like that he doesn't, he never wanted to do like the stereotypical, well, I don't know if he did, maybe he did, but at least late, later in his career, he wanted to do these meteor roles. Yeah. And I love that. <laughs> and it's ridiculously sad, and I know you guys already know this, that you won't be able to see him anymore. Yeah. Outside of his, his last film that's coming out here later in July, but I don't, I don't know how you feel about him. I thought he was phenomenal in this film. Phenomenal, I got mad this, after this one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the same, it was different with Heath, obviously, because we already knew. Yeah. But I have the same anger about his departure for selfish reasons, mm -hmm. because I saw, not just what you said, I absolutely agree, he carries a similar screen presence 
of charisma and energy and danger mm -hmm. that Renvir carries. Yeah. Uh, he also carries a groundedness to his acting and a believability mm -hmm. that's comparable to his counterpart in this, yeah. uh, Manoj Bajpayee, who's, who's we'll always, <laughs> we'll get to him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think had he been able to stay with us and kept making the choices he would have been free to make to do the projects he wants to do, I think he could have been somebody that the industry saw was instrumental in this era that is is the believability factor. Mm -hmm. He would have been a monumental contributor, and I think he could have. I think the sky was the limit for this guy, mm -hmm. and it, it pisses me off yeah. that he's gone. <sighs> yep. Yeah, it's that's what we have to say about that. Yeah. So now, obviously, we don't want to talk on that too long. Yeah. No, 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 sure no, no, no. You guys, everybody, you all feel the same. A, a while more than us. Was, um, uh, he is severely missed. Deeply we can't missed. wait to watch more of his stuff. So before we get to the rest, let us know what of his we should watch next before obviously his last one comes out, which we will watch yeah. immediately. Uh, anyways, uh, on to uh, Minaj, who had a, almost a supporting role. I thought he was actually the lead in this. And I was so glad <laughs> we had some flashbacks. Yeah. So because like, if, this, was, if you haven't seen this, go watch it and come back. Because here we go. When he died, I was, like, I was oh. mad. <laughs> Like, no! Yeah. I thought he was like supposed to be like the, the main character in this. And uh, I'm glad Sushant was, and I enjoyed his performance. But I <laughs> I was expecting to see like a full thing of- Full thing uh, with um, Minaj Bashbadi. Yeah, and I was, I was excited. And then he died and I was like, oh, okay. Well, that was nice to see him, I guess. I <laughs> know. So when they gave a couple of flashbacks, I was very thankful. I also felt that, well, let's stick, stick with, with him. Yeah. You know, I was instantly thinking about him in terms of the last role we saw him in. Yeah. And they're two completely different people. Yeah. <laughs> they're just two completely different people. Even, I don't know what he did with his body weight for this, but he had, he looked like he might have been 25 pounds, 30 pounds lighter for this film than he was for the, the teacher. Uh -huh. uh, you could see it in his face. His yeah. face actually looked longer. Uh -huh. um, and and he he's just... In the list of actors that are grounded, believable, make it look easy, and have shape shifting capacity, he's at he's in that list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and we said it before we watched his last film that we knew that's what you guys have been saying about him. Yeah, and we agree. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. It just took us a minute to get to him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but he is. Up there with Nawazid and Sadiq. Yes, he is. And he's up there with. Um, um, Drawing a blank on my favorite actors. Mirafon? <laughs> yes, thank yeah. you. Um, those types of actors who are just so grounded and so believable and so just effortless yes. in, in, in what they're doing. Yep. Uh, he is 100% in that conversation of the best artist uh, currently acting. Yep. Now, just in general, and much less India, uh, especially in, in, the, in, yeah, but especially in the, world. the world of acting. He He's as exciting an actor to me, like you said, as, as Nawaz. Mm -hmm. If I see he's in a film, I'm going to be as excited as any actor, male and female, mm -hmm. that I see in a film yeah. right now. His, his name's attached, and I'm excited. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so he did, he did phenomenal, of course. He brings, um, in this, he brought a sense of, um, obviously, he brought a ton of innocence in his last character. But this one, obviously, as a gang leader, mm -hmm. to have that element to it, because um, certain actors, and I don't know, obviously, I haven't seen all of his roles. I've seen two of his roles. Um, three, because we saw him in Gangs. Gangs, yeah. 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 Um, certain actors just have this quality about them that brings an innocence to almost every character they have. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not sure that's him, but in the, these two last ones, he brings almost an innocence and a lovability to him. Because mm -hmm. Johnny's Johnny Depp is that same way. Mm -hmm. He, and I'm not comparing the actors. Uh, no, just the quality just of the, the person. The, the quality, every yeah. role they bring, yeah. they bring a innocence and lovability to it. Right. Even though Johnny plays these like, dark like roles. Like Tom Hanks. Yeah, they bring mm -hmm. these dark roles that like Johnny plays, but he, there's always an innocence about it. Yeah. His past two, not so much in gangs, I guess, I no, I, but that's different. Watch it. You're right, though, because it's different. Like um, Nawaz, and it may just be the parts. I'm yeah, sure he can play. Parts. He can probably play like a ramen of two points. hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. Where you're there, you just are totally just. Yeah, but the past, the at least the past two. Correct. He brings this like lovability and innocence to his roles, even in yeah. the 
little that he got to play in this film. Yeah. But I loved it in, in, in the film as a whole. I love that they killed him off in the beginning because mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I love the way that they they didn't give him an honorable death. They dropped him off of a freaking roof. They dropped him. That was a beautiful, well done shot. Just to have them following Shashant, and they have the either the stunt person or the the, the CGI, whatever they did for him, uh -huh. go in front of frame, and then they pulled back, and he's come in and has laid down in the spot. It looked like he fell down face first onto the ground, uh, and he. he he is such, uh, even with the, any person he's working with, he must be a joy to work with because he's one of those actors that I would refer to as he's clearly a generous actor mm -hmm. and that he's gonna give you so much to work with that you won't even have to, you won't even have to work because what he's giving you is that you're gonna have so much to react to. I, I bet, and I could be wrong, I bet he has a theater background. I'll be astonished if he doesn't. He doesn't right? I'd be astonished if he doesn't. He seems like one of those actors. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And I felt uh, uh, Ranbir Shori. Yeah, he did phenomenal. And we've seen him before. Yeah, we have. I don't know what it was. Several people we've seen. Obviously, Bunty was here. Yes. As I, was, well as, I was excited to see him. I was Bunty. excited to see him, as was from Patalok, mm -hmm. our... our uh, blonde. Though, yeah, we called him the white boy, but I, right, but he's I, not. I he's not white. Um, right, but he, he just looked white. Um, I, yeah, he's a really good actor as really well. Good. Uh, for the little parts that he's been given in, in both the things. Yep, I like him a lot. I, I think he's too. a really really good actor. Yeah, um, brings like a danger. He's like he has yeah. crazy eyes. Crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that's, that's crazy intense eyes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I do want to talk about her. Yes, that's the next. I wanted to talk Say about uh, Bumi Pednikar. She did so well. Didn't have a false moment. Uh, I, I loved her character yep. a lot. And I don't know if we've seen her before. She looked a little from... I in, think we've seen in, her in a trailer. She's in Toilet. Mm -hmm. And that's with Akshay, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think we've seen her in a trailer or two, but we hadn't seen her work. But this clearly was uh, like everybody in it. She just doesn't have a false moment. Mm -hmm. um, she's completely believable every moment of the time. Uh, and what I loved about her character was that even though she was somewhat the damsel in distress, she wasn't the damsel in no, distress. No, she had the power and, and, and yeah, she was a find strong it. woman. Yeah, um, she was in distress, but she doesn't come across as having. She needed help. She didn't need saving. Yeah, and uh, all the way through her character, there was just a, a, a strength about her. Which is hard to convey. It's it's a testament probably to just who the woman is and that she can convey a, a female character who is scared and wounded but doesn't come across as fragile or incapable. Mm. And that, that's that's not an easy thing to, to convey. This character could have easily, and I feel would have been ruined, mm -hmm. if she wasn't coming across as someone who's strong. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have it would have really done a, a disservice to the to the story. I think if she wasn't someone that you felt, you know, she'll be picking up a gun right alongside the other guys and shooting people and yeah, and I thought she and, did a phenomenal job. And that's obviously an testament to not only her but the writing, the writing, uh, the directing. writing, and the directing by uh, Abhishek Chavi, Chavi, yeah, uh, who was the pun uh, the director of the Punjab, uh, Punjab, who I love that film. Uh, great, great movie, great movie. Um, but I felt like the writing of this was so interesting, and it was almost sometimes really hard to watch the way they handled the cast mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. and the fact that at certain times you're like, okay, oh, these guys respect women, but then right when they find out that she's from a different cast, yes. right? They and then they just let that um, the family come and take her, and then obviously the the one guy who um, was just awful and then the son who kept slapping her and then mm -hmm. that, that whole scene was really well done really well done but hard to watch hard to watch <laughs> as was uh the sequence that you knew was coming when the when he's describing when shushant is describing the curse and the five-year-old girl and that was an amazing through line throughout of her appearing in the water at first and then the also the the later part where you find out the real story behind why they went to the village mm -hmm. and how Minaj's character was really sacrificial lambing himself mm -hmm. going in for the sake of the other person and the whole concept of we're doing this for Dharma, we're doing this because this is our responsibility. But 
the the sequence where they shoot up all the kids. Mm -hmm. um, I felt they did an amazing job of making this gritty and hard to watch, but also they. I, I wonder how hard this was editing and shooting, and if they had any challenges to maintain a rating that the the censorship board Probably. would allow them to have. They had a great bullet shots. Oh, it was some great with the sound editing, obviously. But some of the great bullet shots was just blood just squirting out everywhere. I loved it. Um, but yeah, I I, I loved the, the just almost the entire thing. I thought all it of it from just from beginning to end. A really really well made film. And uh, the the costumes. Um, we could talk about our man Vishal Bardwash. Oh my star! Please, <laughs> as good you know, as I'm the not... sound, the score. It was subtle, <sighs> but powerful. Is how I would. Describe it was it. absolutely perfect. Yeah. It, uh, this is this is without question one of my absolutely favorite films we've seen. It's also one that would I that, recommend. You bet. Oh, 100%. Like, I could... Absolutely. I could send this to an American uh, person right now, and I think almost anybody could watch it, unless anybody. they don't like, you know, violence. Yeah. If, they've got a, if they've got a thing with some violence, and they also... If you just can't get past the subtitle thing, which I'd force people to watch it. Oh, no. I don't care about I'd that. I'd force them to watch yeah. it and say, get past your thing about subtitles, please. It's dumb. We live in an international world. Start reading subtitles. Um, but yeah, 100%. And you could give this to any American. Anybody. And they would enjoy this film. They would... I, I can't imagine anybody watching the movie, especially from what the Western mindset wants to see in the films, mm -hmm. and not watching this and thinking, man, that was really good. Yeah, all the... All the Actors in this were great. All the support. I love the the when the the later gang, the woman gang leader. Yeah, I thought she was great. Loved her. I I was upset that they didn't show her killing the guy. I know. I wanted to see it. I know. Like real bad. <laughs> it would like, have been nice to have had a patalok moment of the yeah. hammer to the brain and the the the, the skull. I didn't you know. know why because they'd had some go maybe maybe the censorship. I think the board. censorship issue. Uh, or because sometimes. People don't like. I've seen in a couple Indian films where they don't show the violence against the woman mm -hmm. or the yes. woman doing the violence. That's that's part of the censorship, censorship board. board. Yeah, but it also could be a directorial choice Maybe. because it's that balance. I just I just really wanted. Yeah, to Yeah, it. it's the balance between. There's sometimes a director's just going to push the edge, mm -hmm. and then sometimes they'll pull back because they don't want to disassociate an audience. But I so loved her character. I did too. I thought that actress did a, did really a great, great job. job. It's just everything. The writing in this uh, is just a really well made, entertaining film yep uh and like i feel like i learned a lot about and i don't well i don't know if i learned a lot i guess because i still don't know like the history of these um whatever they're called jacoits jacoits yeah um, or is it dacoits i keep saying drug dacoits dacoits but yeah you know i i feel like i uh, would especially starting with um fun sing tomorrow and then going to this mm -hmm. i feel like i got a good vibe for what the those are if i ever hear about them again yeah yeah, because we haven't even gotten into, I told you we could talk about this for three hours because we could talk about not only the story, but some of the messages that are being conveyed in the story, which obviously you brought up the cast and the female being treated differently based on cast. But then all within that is also the, the idea of what it means to actually be a rebel. And and uh, like she repeatedly says, just because just you're a rebel doesn't mean you're not a good person. Mm -hmm. And the, the police officer, just because you're the police, you know, at the hit, where he ends up at the end. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a great moment. Yeah, it was a good ending. Yeah. Um, they, they goes to that line that they said at the beginning and then at the end, the I think it's the the hawk hunts the snake or something. Yeah, there's something with, yeah, the, the... The snake hunts the mouse or the something like yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, the snake gets the mouse and then the vulture gets the snake. Yeah, you know, something the way the along those works lines. That way, yeah. Um, and that's basically Sorry the, whole, for butchering that. the whole message of it, basically. Right. Is is basically that. Yep. Um, and so I thought, yeah, I thought the film was great. I would love to see more from Abhishek. Oh. Uh, I think he's. I don't know if we've seen anything other than Uda Punjab. I, I know we saw Uda Punjab, and then I'll tell you what. If 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 he's putting something together and directing it, and he's got the team that he has for his art <clears> direction, <throat> his costuming, his sound, and his casting. Uh, he was an associate director on, on McBool and Umkar. So he did he learn from Vishal, which is probably why he worked with Vishal. On right, this. and Vishal did the score for him. Well, Abhishek, sir, you made a film that I would point to people to say if you want to know, want to see how you're supposed to make a film across the board: lighting, sound, art direction, costuming, acting, story, 
editing, cinematography across the board. Just picture perfect, here's how to make a movie. Make it entertaining, let it have a message, uh, believe the characters, be engaged, and want to watch it again when it's over. Yeah. Period. Good work to you, yeah. sir. Great uh, job. So let us know uh, uh, what of his we should watch next. Uh, Sushant's, uh, his, mm -hmm. and then obviously... And everything uh, by Vinaj Bajpayee. Vinaj Bajpayee. <laughs> Anything by him, obviously, we're going to watch. Yep. Uh, but let us know what we should watch down.